Okay, so what we're going to be doing is scanning the leg and recording the images we take. And what we want to do is to divide that leg from roughly from the carpus uh, distally into uh, known locations so that we can compare uh, images either between different legs uh, of the same horse uh, on the same date or between successive scans over, over different days. Um, and we therefore need to know where those images are being taken. Roughly speaking, there are two ways of doing this. You can either find a bony landmark, which in this case tends to be the accessory carpal bone, and you can then measure down in centimetres, directly in centimetres, distal to that accessory carpal bone. Um, the alternative and possibly more commonly used method uh, is to mentally divide that region, the metacarpal region, into zones. So typically we have three zones, one, two, and three, and they're then subdivided, one A and B, two A and B, and then three A, B, and C. Three C being really the back of the fetlock, the palmar aspect of the fetlock joint. Um, you may find that if you've got an obvious lesion that you can palpate, or a clinically obvious lesion on the leg, it's tempting to, to just zoom in and kind of concentrate on that area, but it's actually quite important to do a logical approach. Start at the top and work your way down the leg. So working from proximally to distally, recording images as you go, and obviously focusing and concentrating on the, on the damaged area uh, when you get there, but just making sure that you don't miss anything as well, because sometimes you've got one obvious injury, you might also have other injuries that, that could otherwise be missed. What we'll be doing uh, is, is um, working our way down this uh, chap's leg, just assessing how we get a decent quality image, um, what we're going to do with the probe, how movements of the probe will affect our, our image, and then also just concentrating on, on how we record those images.